Hi guys, David Jennings here from Melbourne SEO Services and I just wanted to record this video to give you a little bit of a, a client case study, one of my coaching clients, Brent Mail. So firstly, Brent, just like to welcome you to the call and perhaps if you can tell us a little bit about what you do and what your business is all about. Well, thanks, Dave. Um, yes, I'm a uh, professional photographer and I live in a small town just north of Newcastle um, and <clears throat> basically we... Um, we photograph families in a uh, unique and and special way. We kind of do um, unposed uh, photographs of, of kids and families running on the beach and and just being themselves. And um, that's what I've been doing for the last uh, ten years or so. I've been a professional for about ten professional photographer for about ten years. And um, I met Dave at um, a conference in Sydney about a year ago or so and um, called him up and basically begged him to coach me um, and it's been it's been awesome I just want to thank you Dave for for what you've done yeah no no I think you were a little bit of a superstar when you came to me I think because your business uh, had evolved it wasn't like a startup it was very much an existing business uh, that was doing really really well I, some of the problems though that you were having just before you, you know, we started working together. Um, I know you were investing so much time into the business where it's, it was so dependent on you. If you weren't showing up for work, money wasn't coming in. Um, just, I don't know if you can tell us a little bit about like what was sort of going on and what were some of the reasons why you thought, look, I need to do something about this. Well, probably the main reason was I, I realized that I, I was the bottleneck in my business. It It revolved around me. I had to be doing everything in my business. I was marketing, I was photographing, I was um, meeting with customers, I was selling them the, the prints, I was um, doing the production, getting the images printed and framed and showing it to the customer. I was doing it, basically everything. And if something happened to me, um, there was no business, there was no income. So I was looking for a way to to make residual income or income that did not depend on my time and that's why I contacted you um, to figure out a way of uh, of putting in the energy up front and then um, having a long term benefit uh, down the road. I remember when yeah. you called and, and you got in contact with me because uh, at the time, like I didn't really have a, a formal coaching program in place. You were very much one of the first people that like, I'd done some stuff in the trading niche before, but very much for the business building, I'd not really done it. And I remember you saying, look, um, I, I saw you present at this conference. I, I really want to start working with you. I know there are a lot of people at that conference and there's a lot of people sort of online as well. I'm just curious to know, what it was that made you think, look, uh, you know, I, I want to work with Dave. He knows his stuff when it, it comes to online marketing and, and building that residual style business. Firstly, I connected with you, Dave. I, you you seemed a lot like me. Um, and that's probably probably the biggest thing. The other, the other, the other reason I chose you was um, you were real. You weren't all fluff and, and, um, and nothing in the nothing behind no no um getting things done i've you've done a lot of uh you've you've had a lot of successes in your in your um business career and in your personal life and in your um um your uh, the martial arts that you do so yeah there there were quite a few quite a few different different reasons and um probably Probably those are the main ones. Just being real, and I could relate to you, and and you seem to be um, honest, and and you are honest, and and basically you you do what you say. Yeah, and I know when we started work, uh, you know, I think we're going back probably we probably about four five months ago now at least I think um, that we've sort of been doing some work together. Um, like I mean, the progression uh, we we started off and. You know, we very much started to look at well, where are you now? What is the type of business that you're looking to build? You know, we built out a few different maps and models to make sure that as we're starting to build it, uh, we're making sure that it's going to help us reach your desired outcome. And I know now we've kind of refined it down where we've got this little map. I think on our last coaching call, when I 
redrew it now. It's it's really quite simple. We know you know where people are coming in at the top of the funnel, where they yes. fall once once you kind of capture them, and what the plan is. Uh, you know, we're talking about building out some info product as opposed to make the business so dependent on you providing a service. And and you already had started to put systems in place to make sure that you know we can deliver the service uh, that doesn't work without you. But I mean, I don't know if you can sort of tell us a little bit about how it's been working with each other and and, and what sort of things that we've gone through and and how it's been. Sure, and I made a couple of notes here um, just before we started talking of what of of all the different things that have changed in my business over the last um, six or eight months since we started working. Um, yeah, firstly, we mapped out mapped out my business and, and where the money's coming in, where the customers are coming in, how they're flowing through my business and, and, and possibly where um, I could be losing customers or losing money and, and, and how I can um, maximize the um, customer experience and also maximize my time um, dealing with the dealing with ca- customers and maximize the, the money that they spend in my business in my my capture imaging photography business but we've also looked at a, a totally different business model um, which is the um, photography training business which I've been working on with you um, in the background uh, where I'm I'm putting, starting to put together photography videos, training videos on how to take better photos for the general public and for professional photographers. And we've been mapping out that business at the same time as keeping my current business running and making sure that everything goes smoothly. And 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 we've even put in a few um, processes that have saved us basically a huge amount of money and um, time. And one of them is outsourcing i've actually with your help dave i we've uh, hired someone um in another country in the philippines to do a lot of our editing work which we used to do it all in-house um and it was another bottleneck in 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 my business and we've got someone um we used your systems to um to find them and it's been probably just a lifesaver for us we've yeah. we've saved oh, I don't know thousands by by doing that. Also, quite a few other little little things um, that have happened. I've, um, with your help, I've started mentoring another photographer who's um, just started their photography business, and I'm helping them um, with the systems that you and I have worked on to get their business up and running, and which has been going really well. Um, and you might, I don't know if you want me to elaborate a little bit more on that. Uh, well, I remember that one. Um... It was very, came very early on in the piece, and it's almost when you pick that one up because uh, you had quite a lot of experience building up your core business, and you had had that part down. So, like, I mean, it made great sense for you to then to show someone else how to do it. It wasn't like you were teaching something that you were just doing. Like, I mean, a lot of what you're showing them is how you're currently running your successful photography business, which, and I know that came in very early on when you picked up that client, and it it almost just started to pay for itself now. The coaching with me gets paid by the fact that you've got another coaching client that you're working with. Exactly, and it's actually, um, it pays for more than that, um, because I'm dealing with them on a uh, weekly basis because they, they're quite early in their business where you and I talk every two weeks or, or three weeks depending on how, how much time I have to do the things that you give me um, between, mm. between talks. Um, and, you know, I can see why you, why you coach because it's, 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 it's a great feeling when you're actually helping someone with your knowledge and your experience. I, I love it. Yeah, and, and and another thing that that you've helped me with, Dave, um, is overcome one of my biggest fears, and that's uh, that's talking on video and 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 just being in, in on the other side of the camera, which where I'm I'm quite comfortable being on the on the the back side of the camera where I'm taking the photos, but being on the other side and actually making videos, that's that was a, a huge fear, and I'd make every excuse not to do them, but now I'm actually. Uh, doing them and enjoying it and getting getting the word out to my customers and and it seems to be working because people come into our studio and they say hey yeah i've seen i've seen your videos we know who you are we we you know we we're really connecting with you and it's it's a lot easier to get people you know through the funnel and and into our into our business mm. i think like for me one of the biggest things uh and sometimes uh 
it, it's hard to see, you know, the forest for the trees being right in the thick of it. But I remember when we first started working together, one of the first things that really stuck out in my mind was um, we you had so many different ideas at the start. Uh, particularly, I mean, you came up with this idea about starting this new business. Don't, won't necessarily need to elaborate, but it was in a very different direction for for what mm-hmm. um, your core business was. And and I just remember we kind of like started to chop away. Um, just some of these different ideas and it all sort of then your ideas now now you seem to be coming up with these new ideas but it's about how do I apply it into this existing business so that that focus has just like I mean changed significantly and I think that's the real the real key and, and where uh, a coach can help oftentimes is is just for that focus definitely and that's um, and that's what I really appreciate about our um, coaching time together is because you are real you tell me how you see it you don't you don't necessarily tell me what I want to hear you tell me how you um, how you see it from your experience and that's and that saved me from going the totally wrong direction which um, which was just uh, a huge benefit for me and and also you know another thing about coaching is it's not necessarily you coming up with all the ideas it's me bouncing things off you so I, what i'll do is i'll i'll say well i got all these ideas you be you the soundboard i'll say what what about this you know like today i, I went through a, a new marketing strategy and i like i said now dave just you know shoot holes in this if you can okay this is what i'm going to do this blah 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 and then you come back and you say well how about this i'm like oh yeah okay I didn't maybe i didn't think about that or this is the reason that I'm doing that. So it's it's really good as just a, a someone you can talk to that that's not going to that's got no financial um, gain out of what whichever way you go. You there to help me, mm. and and that's and that's what I like about it. Yeah. Now that we're starting to see some of these things come to fruition, I know we've just come through um, winter, which typically is the hardest time in in your business, and now we're really starting yes. to put a lot of things in place and and planning making sure that we've got all of these automated ways to bring in new hot leads i'm just wondering like i mean the the results that you're starting to see in your business i know last week you had loads loads of bookings and we've started talking about ways to make sure that um those bookings then sort of follow through and also i know you had a huge success with um a facebook campaign as well i mean we were just talking about the number of uh people that you ended up getting onto your facebook page are there any other yeah. sort of results like i mean ha- ha- what's it sort of meant to the business well the the facebook contest that we ran um which you helped me with, um, come run through the concept um, and make sure that there were no holes in it, uh, went viral just like we, we hoped it would and basically added uh, about 3,000 new, new likes to my Facebook page, which, um, which tripled what uh, the amount of people that were, were watching me. It was in me. six days or something, wasn't it? Was yes, it was in six <laughs> days. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, um, that's a you know that's that's one of the successes that we've had um, with the viral marketing thing. But but you've also helped me in um, in in running through the marketing that my traditional marketing that I do with uh, with photography. You know, with the um, it's called third party marketing. You've 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 tried to f- help me find ways how I can be more effective with what I'm already doing. Yeah, and um, and that's that's helped a lot, obviously. Um, and another thing also um, maybe the viewers should know is that, you know, even though you're my mentor, I, I consider you to be a friend too. You know, we, we kind of joke a little bit and it's not all, you know, business all the time. You know, obviously we help each other, but it's, you know, a lot of the time it's just having, you know, there's someone to talk to sometimes, you know. Yeah. Um, for me, that's, as a business owner, it's sometimes uh, – difficult to find people when when everyone's kind of working for you or you're trying and and maybe people are potential leads it's it's kind of hard to be real sometimes and have have someone you can just you know talk to and and say you know I'm having having uh, what about this and you know can you help me with this so that's another that's another benefit I see of uh, of having a mentor I feel like we need a big group hug here. In, in... <laughs> well, yeah, I told you, I want you to come up to my birthday party. You know? yeah, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I think uh, anyone who's watching this now, like, I mean, uh, 
they might be thinking about getting some sort of coaching or even working with us in some sort of capacity. I'm wondering if there's yeah. anything else that um, you could say to them. Like, I mean, if there's someone just sort of sitting on the fence, you having been someone who's, you know, on the other side of the fence now, and is there anything that you can say to them that it might help them? Well, what I can say is um, um, calling you up that day because it was it wasn't easy for me to call you because I I considered you to be this person that's up up here you know like super smart and and super successful so it's, it's sometimes a little tough to say oh you know should I call them because maybe they'll just look down at me but but you but you aren't like that you you you're a cool guy you. You're a real person, and having you as a mentor has probably been the one, the best thing I've done in the last year in my business. Um, I've done a lot of things, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a go-getter. I like to, I lo- I've got a thousand things on, on the go at any given time, just like you. Um, but I think having a mentor has been the best thing in the, in the last 12 months that I've done in my business for sure. And I'd say, you know, call Dave up and call up Melbourne SEO services because they're real and they, you know, don't, yeah. don't worry possibly, you know, having someone talk down to you cause they won't. Yeah. They're good guys. Perfect. And what, if somebody wants to get uh, some amazing photography done, uh, where would they go to, to get that? Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, well, you can go to captureimaging.com.au. That's uh, C A P T U R E imaging.com.au or my um, photography training website, which I'm putting together right now, is brentmailphotography.com. Um, and that's mail like in postman, like in posty. It's very, like, if anyone's watching this now, even just go check out the website because he's got some really cool sort of behind-the-scenes sort of video footage. And, and as you mentioned, he's just getting into a video a lot more as well. So I know there's tons of really good stuff there and it does some amazing work. I know, I think within the first uh, month or two of us working together, you sent me a, a copy of your uh, photography in Port Stephens and that was just uh, awesome so uh, if people want to check it out they can definitely visit your website thank you so much Brent and uh, no doubt we'll chat soon